But what happened in Jim Crow law, whenever a white person is standing and the bus driver wants to change the law, he can change it. He can tell a color person, get up and give me those seats. Now you go over further. Go over further. Now, so the white person can fill up that seat with the blue chariots. So that's what happened on March the seventh. Do you get the idea? Yes. yes. It was just because of what? Color. White signs and color signs. That was the law. And it, these signs were all over the South. In every city, at the bus stations, at the department stores, over the water fountains, over the lunch counters. So this is what was going on. March the second, and that's when I decided I could not take one more session of Jim Crow law. And I tell everyone that what happened that day, we had Negro History Month. That's why it is important for this uh, Mrs. Hayward to carry on her mission on her program, because yes, had not it been for unorthodox teacher who was teaching Negro history much, I probably, it probably wouldn't have been in the back of my mind to rebel. I wanted to do something, but at that time, February, remember? All of February, we were talking about our accomplishments, that we were not recognized, and how, well, at that time, with Jackie Robinson, that was the part of breaking the barrier, baseball barrier. We were so proud of Jack the Robinson. So, it's people, and we was proud of Mary son. You know, she was denied to, uh, to sing in the Constitution Hall, to sing at the Rico Memorial. So it's all, we were disenfranchised in being metropolitan New York. Everything. So, but that, uh, what I was going to deal with that day, but simply what I tried to demonstrate here, sitting on the bus, being segregated, being dis humiliated and harassed on the bus. And instead of taking me to an adult facility, they took me to, I would say, instead of taking me to a juvenile facility, they took me to an adult prison. I would say jail. And I tell the school children, you all don't listen to, you all don't watch Western. I know, you don't like Western. Have you ever seen a Western movie? But it shoot them up. <laughs> uh, when uh, they put the guys in the, the, the bandits in the jail. And in the jail, they have, it's not more than like the day, so you can get the sound of the keyboard. Right? So that's what it was that day. They put me in the jail, and that's when I got so I tell everyone that I'm Baptist, so you know what happened. I start praying and I start saying, Do you have another song? Have you heard of it? You heard talk of the 23rd song. If you Baptist, uh, so I start reading. Do you know the Lord's Prayer? If you're Christian, you know the Lord's Prayer. So I started repeating the Lord's Prayer. And I, do you, uh, I don't know how to do it in middle school, so you probably don't know about Edgar Allen Poe. Edgar Allen Poe, uh, you know, he wrote, he wrote the Rex, he wrote the poems, he wrote the Raven, and most of his poems were big, scary, yes. And you really had to turn, and he wrote, I, and so, anyway, um, I started reciting, I said, this is, a, this is really a horrible place. So I started reciting something and out of four points. But that was one of my assignments. So I said, I might as well do it here in this prison. <laughs> <laughs> in this jailhouse. So, but eventually, my, my children went home. And they, uh, see, they went home and told my parents. So what happened, the reason why this played out like it did, none of the children got up. 
and run off the bus when, we, when I was dragged off the bus. Otherwise, most So what? why do you think that you <coughs> didn't run off the bus? No, they wasn't afraid. They had heard about Negro History Month that they knew what I was speaking to. When I was here, they were mad at me. They knew it didn't surprise them. It didn't surprise them. It never been any other time. They all probably ran off the bus when they first saw the first police department. The first traffic police department on the bus. They had no jurisdiction there. And then, when they found out that they had no jurisdiction there, and then, Buzzmore died. Very clever. They, uh, they didn't. Arrest, he didn't call, he thought it was all over. Because uh, I wasn't really working, though. I was sitting right with the colored people. I was sitting with the colored people. I wasn't sitting with the white people. I was sitting with the colored. Only thing I didn't get up was so that white lady had to have a clear path to go to the white lady. I didn't know who colored person could sit next to the side uh, you know, have eye contact with her. So, instead, Instead of arresting there, they stole the bus one block in the same direction of the bus, regular bus route. And lo and behold, this the squad car, big bird squad police came on the bus and asked me the same thing. And I don't know, I say, it was, I was in the, 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 uh, the bus, uh, Harry, of uh, my Harry Tubman. And so John Truth was still over me. He was still crazy. I became even more defiant. I said, I paid my fare, it's my constitutional rights. Then it wants to say, constitutional right, gal. One grab one arm, one grab the other, and drag me off the bus. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's say that this program is very important because you got to know who you are. And although we only have it once a year, month. one month, I said no. I said before. Now we now Sandra is doing it, but at the time we only had it. Well, it really was legal one week, and then later it became a month. Mm. So it's very important to know who you are and know that we have some right. people that who had uh, made great contributions to this society that we live, but we never hear talk about it. So it's just like today. Do you all know that only thing you hear all the negativity on the TV? You don't hear about my grandson who had to wait so doggone hard. And now he's a medical doctor. We all have to put together our stories and we can die to help So we all put together, we're going to have a granddaughter who is an RN. Mm. Oh. So I got one daughter, one RN, and I have one son, I would say these are grandchildren, I have one grandson who is in security in Washington, D.C. I don't know what building, but it's one of those big office buildings in D.C. He had security. She was in the service, and I have another grandson, he's in the Alpha. Arizona. 